Hello everyone and welcome back finally to the end of the episode of the Ultimate Pest 2020 Royal Rumble So as you know I just finally became a high school and yeah the first week has already been super busy so Yeah probably gonna be only doing this on the weekends but maybe one or two I don't know If I can I, I, can up, I will try up or two per week but yeah um, the rules every top division in pairs will compete. This uh, wheel decides to go as first winner of each game will be the home to the next extra time and pens decide if it's a draw. Order of the pen takers go from worst to best. And of course the last team standing wins now. Um, from the from the era division onwards we'll go we'll have the updated transfers. So yeah. So, for example, now Man United, they're obviously through to the finals. They will have Mason Mount by then. So, yeah. <coughs> Those are the rules. So, let's get straight into it. To Liga Portugal B win. I, I don't actually know what it's actually called. I'm just going to call it that way because it seems convenient. <coughs> so, again, there is no Casapia. That's actually. I, yeah. That's like. First team is Santa Card. The team on the description here is basically the teams that are in the game, but they're only in the game because the game didn't update it from all season teams. So there's no Casapia, there's no Chavez, and there's no Rio Ave. That's what it's supposed to say. I got it all confused. But the first game will be Santa Clara and Aruka. Aruka rocking the generic kits here. Just to you know, if there are teams with generic kits, they made it to the final. Make it to the final. Like the last episode, I'll only update update their kids when they get to the final. So yeah, because let's be real, all those teams usually never expect them to get to the final. So yeah, but Luis Felipe, the former Sporting player, gave Santa Clara the early leads. I swear to God, Santa Clara, they've just they're just a B Tech Benfica. Their logo is a bloody B Tech Benfica, yeah. Eugenie equalized. What a hit that was from Eugenie. Is it Eugenie or Eugenie? I don't know. I'm assuming Eugenie because of Eugenie, you know, like that. Luis Felipe really should have scored. <laughs> he should have scored that. Point blank, really should have scored that, mate. That is so bad. Now, Villanueva had an opportunity to seal the game here, but on. Oh, the no. oh, two fair, it wasn't too far off. Then Eugenie in the 87th minute nearly, nearly won it. But he missed the big chance. But the B Tech Andre Silva wins it. Well, oh, not really. Oh fuck, I just spoiled it. But yeah. He scores an extra time to give Aruka the lead. Andre Silva, not the Andre Silva we all know and love. To be fair, that Andre Silva was kind of finished now, isn't it? Ever since he was to Leipzig. But yeah. This Andre Silva gives Aruka the lead. Then Luis Felipe, he surely had a score from there, oh for god's sake. <laughs> and with that, Aruka go through to match number two. So let's see who will they face in match number two. The Aruka facing Pacos de Ferreira. And they went through. Unfortunately, I never even realized that I forgot to record it. I kid you not, I only just realized while editing. So I didn't really even remember the score. I just didn't, I just completely forgot and I didn't realize. So yeah. Match three now. Sporting. Surely this will be the. They will, uh, sporting will go through here. Surely. You've got to think that Sporting will at least beat them. Trincar thinks he's bloody Ronaldo. Jokers. Then Braganza had a big chance. How on earth do you not score from there? You should have taken it a bit further. Number 68. If you were number 69, you would have scored that. You twat. Now, <coughs> 50th minute. Trin Cow again. Another good opportunity. It's a decent safe keeper. Really made a mess of that. He was lucky there was a defender to clear it away. <coughs> Then drink out again. It's a good hit as well. It's a great save from the Uruka goalkeeper. And again, drink out. He's been getting all the chances here. 
he should have taken that under control but he if he had taken a touch he would have scored and won it for sporting and then it's him again Trin Cow in the 124th minute be sure it's blocked and it goes to penalties Aruka somehow hang on to sporting at least to pens who will go through to match four that is the sussest camera angle of all time you stupid game anyways Castro the goalkeeper the first to take for Aruka is it Russo or Aruka I'm gonna say Aruka because it sounds better <coughs> Ooh, Adan really should have gone that. That wasn't really that powerful, probably, and should have saved that. And he's missed him himself. 1 0 Aruka. Number 6, no idea who the hell you are, bro. <laughs> Straight down the middle. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. As Emi Martinez once said, if the keeper didn't, doesn't save the first one and they're behind, going into the second one, he has to dive, and that is proven wrong. What a penalty that is from, I think, Mateus Rice. What a penalty. Could not go, have gone anywhere more to the corner. That's a good pen as well from the number 20. Aruka, 3 from 3. If. Um, I forgot who he is. Cortez. He's body missed it. Wait, then that's not Cortez. That's Bayerine. Bayerine is body missed. And now, the number five has a big chance. He scores. Aruka go through. Oh, Adan. He should have scored. He should have saved it again. But he's body bottled it again. And Aruka go through to match four. What a start this is. <coughs> Opening three game winning streak here. Porto, come on, you've got to fall here. Come on, man, Porto. You can't. As expected. Porto take the early, somewhat early lead to Remy assisting Pepe out of all people. And the man who missed a sitter in the World Cup against Morocco has scored an absolute screamer here for Porto. <laughs> Look at that boom, that was sensational. From the old man. Then Pepe again, it's a good block. And he tried to keep it in, but only looking, didn't get proper contact and goes out for a corner in. Anyways, Jean Mario, decent save. Not safe, block, sorry. And Pepe again. He should have scored that. You wonder how they really should have scored that, probably, yeah. And then it's Pepe, your buddy, again. It's not that Pepe that I think, it's actually the winger Pepe. Yeah, it's the young winger Pepe. I just realized there are two Pepes here, oh my god. Big chance. To Remy from the corner, he should have scored that. That was a point blank free, free header. Then to Remy again. What a ball from Pepe! How on earth do you not score from there? But it's enough. Porto go through. Aruka finally beaten. <laughs> now, in that match six is Vittoria Guimaraes. Wait, six or five? I forgot. For God's sake. Um, this is this would be five. Yeah, match five. Taremi again, big chance, body bottled it. Marco Grujic, the former Liverpool man. Oh, Pepe couldn't get the rebound. He didn't react quick enough. If he just stuck a leg, he probably would have scored anyways. And the Rochinha. Oh, it's a good save from Diogo Costa, I believe that is. 
That's a superb save. And then Pepe again. Is this is the Pepe Pepe? He went in his own. You did he even go for it? He was trying to place it around the goalkeeper. The keeper made one of the weirdest saves ever. But then Otavio scored in, in the end of extra time to win it for Porto. Simple as things can go. To be fair, the keeper probably could have saved that to be fair. It really went to the middle. But Pepe prevented the through ball just, just on side. It's Otavio. And the Brazilian put it away. And Porto on their way. That rhymes. Jorge Fernandez, one last chance at the 127th minute. That's probably the longest I've ever seen the time go. Oh, he's just right there, nearly went in. That, that very, very nearly went in. Then now Porto through the match six. They will be facing Braga. One of the big boys will go out here. Porto or Braga. <coughs> And it's Porto taking the lead. Pepe again. Estacchio with a brilliant ball. Pepe, brilliant run. Terrible first touch, but he gets it under control. And he gets the finish done. Pepe again. Big man for the big occasions, for the big games. <clears throat> He's made for these games. Then Andre Horta equalized for Braga. Andre, not Ricardo. He's the brother of Ricardo. Is it the older brother or the younger one? I actually don't know. But it's Andre Horta who gets the equalizer for Braga. Pepe, big. No, I actually don't know. Had a chance. It's a good turn from him. It's a great strike. It's a great save as well. Decent opportunity for the big man. And Pepe again. Should have scored that. How that that guy didn't go down beyond me and Pepe just unfortunately strikes it straight down the middle. And Rasic gets booked. And the vendor out of all people took the free kick and he screwed it up. Then Paolo Rivera punished him. Scoring here, Raina is great run. Weird run as well, but brilliant enough. Oliveira with a superb finish. And Braga lead at Porto. Very weird run at the end there from Wainers, but he gets the cross in, and Paulo Oliveira is there to make it 2 1. And Oliveira seals it. <coughs> what has happened to Porto in the last few minutes here? Oliveira with a brace in the end. Ricardo Horta setting it up. Easy for Paulo Oliveira and Braga through to match. I don't even know seven, seven in it. Family Sal are oh, next. Is it Family Sal? Family Cow? I don't know. Banza, first opportunity came the 53rd bloody minute. Jesus Christ, that was a dead ass first half, was it? Simple block. And Andre Horta scored from the counter attack. Oh no, it's Oliveira, sorry. It's a great strike from Andre Horta. He just places it with the inside of the right foot, but he curls it. If that made any sense to the left corner, he basically, basically curls it outwards, but with the inside of the foot. It didn't curve. Like, it, just, it was just perfect. Perfect placement, I guess you can say. It's the easy way to say it and explain it. Banza should have scored. He really should have scored that. Keep the DS keeper screwed up. He should have scored. He should have scored. He probably could have nutmegged him or what. He screwed that up. Keep acting like he made a good save there. Now Oliveira clean through on goal. He got a score from the. Oh my god. He's got a chip. But that was enough. And Braga go through. Is Portimon ends next up? So Portimon ends conceding right before the half hour mark. Lainez picking. Oh no, that was Lainez. That was Horta, I think. Picking it up to Lainez. So Ricardo Horta and the captain finally gets a goal. 
and there looks absolutely nothing like him but I don't care Ricardo Horta gives Braga the lead great shot uh, great start great sh shot great strike whatever great goal great everything from that Ricardo the Horta is nearly combining he rushed that with power but unfortunately not enough accuracy he didn't he didn't set it far enough to the corner keeper was too close to it then Andre Horta somehow winning the header but it was well wide he didn't even get enough power on it any power at all to be fair then Fabrizio when is the here we go for another coming Fabrizio you know what I mean but he missed an absolute sitter there to equalize for Potimon ends and Angulo as well here oh no he gift he got gifted that it took a bit of deflection of the defender it's actually a good recovery to be honest big chance again for Portimon ends and they got paid for it on the counter attack Rasic escapes the tackle he puts it over the top for Horta and Ricardo Horta makes it 2-1 not 2-1 2 now great um, um, skill there from Rasic, not real skill, but just great dribbling, great control. Over the top, Ricardo Horta, easy. Then Fabrizio actually redeemed himself, he got one back with nine minutes to go. Off the post, but it went in. It was game on, but not really. It ended 2 1, so fuck off, what him on ends, you're out, you bottle jobs. Bro, go through again. It's going to be Gil Vicente, one of the weakest teams left, I think. I think he is the weakest team left, to be honest. So, yeah, Ray and not Rain. Snow, Ponders, great start. Lainez gives Braga the lead. 17 minutes gone. Oof, that was superb. Bit of a weird pass from Oliveira. Weird timing. Lainez somehow. He, I don't even know how he controlled it, but he just smacked, he flicked it up and did a dipping shot. Then Ruben Fernandez got gifted the opportunity. How do you miss from there? I know he's a bit off balance, but still, oh man. If he had taken another touch, he would have scored. And it's him again. Decent box to be fair that time. Good defending. And Paulo over that was a sexy ball to Andrew Horth. I did not make I did not mean to make that sus, I'm sorry. Oliver hits the bar. YouTube please don't ban me. I did not mean it that way. Okay, I was I did not mean it to make it that sus. But anyways, the Horta combination, great ball from Andre to Ricardo with a super finish. 2 0 seems over for Gil Vicente. In the 77th minute, the number 77, Mario had the easiest chance of his life and he screwed it up. That ended up being the game. 2 0, Braga go through again. Oh, five teams left. Six teams, including Braga, so it's like what? After this, there's only five. How much is that? Vizella will be facing them. Well, this is match 10, if I'm not wrong. Nine or 10 on those two. I think 10, I think it's 10. Ricardo Horta, simple, 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 simple goal. Just too simple. Braga reckon they could go all the way here. And Ricardo Horta gets himself yet another goal. Braga 1, Vizilla 0. Guilherme Chatini, what a name that is. It's a good turn, it's a decent effort and a decent save as well from the goalkeeper. Matthias. That's a good save at a near post from him. And then Ricardo Horta. The Oliveira is legit the assist king here. Ricardo Horta. I just. Wait, where's the goalkeeper? I just realised. Where's the goalkeeper? Why is he for it? I know I've got it on all oh, attack for both teams, but why is the goalkeeper just come out? It's not even the 90th minute, and only and Horta just disgustingly puts it into an empty net. That is just stupid. I never realised that. That shouldn't even happen. I know it's on all attack, 
But the keeper should not really be coming forward until if it's like the 90th minute and they desperately need something. I swear, that never happens. But Shatina gets one back. If it wasn't for the dumb goalkeeper, it would have been 1-1 by now. You hear me, Shatina gets one back right before half time. But then Oliveira scored in first half extra time. The assist can getting a goal this time. It's Oliveira that sets him up somewhat easy. And not Oliveira, Horta and Oliveira strikes it. Simple goal. <coughs> then Oliveira again. Great ball to Inez. Cross. Oliveira should have scored. Should have scored that. Ricardo Horta <coughs> chanting the 90 second minute. That was a super two ball. You went for a bit of a volley. That's a great save. But that ended, ended up being the game 3 1. The last five. Uh, I think. What match is this actually? No, this is 11. You did. Yeah, yeah, that was right. That was 10. This is 11. Match, eight. match 11. Against Estoril Praia, and they take the lead. I don't know where. And Bula to Ruiz. Easy. Easy, easy, easy for Ruiz. And Bula actually has a real face. I don't know where that, where that real face came from, but Ruiz has given Estoril Praia the lead against Braga, who look to be the favourites now. To be fair, there is still Benfica, so yeah. Then whatever this is, there's no graphic for it, but Andre Horta, he took it too long. He took too long. He just have just went forward, man, instead of stopping there. Then Lucas Africa, not Africa. Oh, that's good defending. He gets a shot away again. It's decent save. The really important one as well from Matthias. Right before half time. Then Paolo Oliveira. Great ball from Rasic. Oh dear God, he should have patrolled that. Then Mbula gifted. Well, not really gifted. He still had to work for it. Yeah, good pressing. He cuts it back, blocked, but Mbula smacked that in. Two nil to Estoril prior. Three nil. Three. What the hell has happened to Braga here? Ruiz with another simple goal. Francisco Grades playing him through. Estoril probably 3 0 up against Braga. What is this? Is this Braga or what? Oh my word. And how did Oliver not score? That is actually one of the most outrageous saves I've ever seen. Fair enough to the goalkeeper. That is one of the most outrageous saves I've ever seen. I am being for real with you here. Boa Vista next up in match day 12. You've got to give credit to the goalkeeper. That was not Oliveira's fault. He looked to be that was over the line, but it was, it was not. That was one of, if not the best save any goalkeeper has made. And then I've seen in pairs. Lucas Africa gives a story prior to lead. Simple ass goal. But still, I cannot get over that save. That is absolutely outraged that is prime David De Gea haughty like David De Gea could save the fucking titanic quality man what the hell was that David Seaman I believe if I'm, not, if I'm not wrong was the guy that did that like that type of save what the hell and in G is a very short game last chance in G he missed that now the decider who gets the free ticket to the final it's the champions in real life, Benfica, Maritima will have to face prior for the last, for the extra spot in the final. Match 13 out of 14 here. Who will face Benfica in the final. Ruiz should have scored. Should have scored, Ruiz. <coughs> he did score a bit later on. Joe Gamboa. Super pass, Ruiz took that to perfection, man. And once again, 
as Toro Pryor have taken the bloody lead. Wait, I think that goalkeeper has a real face. What the hell? Okay. Fair enough. Ali Paul equalised. Not many teams have done this before, but Maritimo have equalised against Astoria Pryor. 1 1, Ali Paul. Ali Paul, whatever, however you say it. Makes it 1 1. Ruiz late on had a big chance. Oh no. Oh no, keep it even too. He just missed that. And then Ali Paul gifted the opportunity. He had to score, right? Nope. He screwed that up. And that would cost him because Lucas Africo went on to win it in the 87th minute. Superb strike. And Estoril Pryor will face Benfica in the Liga Portugal B win section final of the Ultimate Pest 2021 Royal Rumble. Can Benfica actually break the non-normal team winning streak or will there be another surprise in the final? Let's find out.
and that's it and once again another unexpected team go through to the final rounds SR Prior are the Portuguese side of advanced if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like comment subscribe and see you in the next video peace